Hello, folks. How's it going? I'm happy to be with you tonight. We are continuing with Pokemon Crystal. I'm actually, I've been really excited for this one. Um, because last stream, uh, we streamed on Wednesday during the day. We got our fourth badge. We defeated Morty. Um, as you can see here, it was actually a really good battle. Um, we had to go back and tweak our strategy a little bit, which was really fun. And we were able to learn and use the move Surf, which I'm really excited about. I don't know... Um, last time we checked, we were in Ecruteak City, but I came down here to Goldenrod yesterday off-stream just to give Lucius another haircut. And, uh, no, we have not taught Wendy Surf yet, so we are going to teach Wendy Surf right now. Because one of the first things we're going to do is get our next team member. And I'm very excited about it. I've been wanting to show it off because... What am I doing? <laughs> I need to go to TMs. Um, because it needed to be Friday for it to happen. So, um, again, Pokemon Crystal is super... Excuse me. Super into the time-based events. And day-night cycle and stuff like that. So we can teach Surf to our to our girl Wendy here. And we're gonna go get our next team member. Also, we have this move, Shadow Ball from Morty. This is a really good ghost type move. And the funny thing about it is that we are going to teach it to our boy Lucius, our Eevee. And it's funny because if Lucius knew this move before the gym battle, it would have just swept him. <laughs> it would have been so, so good. Um, but here, we are just going to get rid of Growl. And now this is going to be a really good coverage move for Lucius. And let's pop in here and get a haircut. How we doing, folks? How was everyone's week? Um, as you all know, I have been uh, off for spring break, which has been divine. I've loved it. Um, oh yeah, I have not much money here, too. <laughs> I had just enough last time. Uh, let's see, make sure I pick Lucius, great. Uh, there we go, Lucius looks a little happier, okay. So Lucas, Lucius has looked happier, a little happier, and happier, and yesterday he was delighted actually, so how about that? It, again, it all means something different, but I don't remember why. Um, but yes, my week's been great. It's the weekend now, for those of you who have been working. I actually have to go back to work next week, which makes me very sad. But what can you do? It is what it is. Um, here... Let me just... Actually, it's okay. I think I have enough Pokeballs. We are actually going to go down here. Because we actually have to go on a little bit of a hike to get where, to where we need to go. Got sweet scent from her. And we can pop this repel here. I'm actually gonna pick up a few more repels. Ooh, actually, yes I am. So now, as you can see, we can surf! Excellent music, always. Um, Excellent music. We will do be doing a lot more surfing later when we cross the sea, which we will be we will be doing relatively soon. Um, that route that we went to, where we got the mint berry, so we could beat Morty, that actually leads to one of the next towns, and that will take us to um, the ocean. So here we are, back in Azalea Town. Oh, while I'm here, I'm just gonna give Kurt. Well, there we go. Perfect timing. I'm going to give Kurt this white apricorn to make a ball. Just because I can. And he's right here. There we go. Perfect. So I will grab a few more repels because we are going to be going into Union Cave. Um, I think I will actually... Oh, we actually don't have much money at all. I can buy one. <laughs> Hold on, do I have anything to sell? I might. I might. Oh, actually, I don't. Ah, it's no big deal. No big deal. We'll pop into the Slowpoke well after, because there's actually a really nice item we can grab in there. And we'll be able to grab more uh, repels with the money we get, because we're going to fight a few trainers. 
So, if you recall, um, after we defeated Faulkner and... Let me say real quick. After we defeated Faulkner, we went to Azalea Town through Union Cave. And here I have three rebels, yes. Alright, that should last me for the most part. And there's a little area up north where we can surf. And we'll probably do that later in our run. Because there is something there I want to show you specifically. But here we are going to surf down. And we have this secret ladder right here that you can only get to once you have surf, which is lovely. And then we have these two trainers right here. Um, I will go ahead and... I don't have great matchups here. But I will go ahead and fight this guy. Just while we're down here, we might as well deal with these trainers. It is funny. Ooh, he's got a Marowak. Oh yeah, so this these levels are a little bit higher than we're used to. Um, yeah, this is not great for our boy Rupert Grunt. Yeah, that hurt. I mean, it was a critical hit, but dang. Uh, we're going to go into Margo. Because Margo's nice and tanky. Um, and unfortunately, we don't have a... Oh that's not looking good. <laughs> um, unfortunately, we don't have a good, strong water type or anything to take care of this Marowak. And we're in a tough spot here, gang. I'm going to sack Wendy. Um, and if you don't know, uh, when I say sack, that just means like sack off, like let them die. Oopsie. Sorry, Wendy. <laughs> um, but here we're going to bring in Lucius, because I think Lucius is going to be okay pop some shadow balls and again shadow ball isn't uh a same type attack bonus move for lucius but it is a pretty powerful move in general that's not good don't kill me please don't kill me i will literally have to reset if you kill me okay great <laughs> dang and you know what's great about us fighting that marowak is that we get to fight another one i think this guy has a second marowak oh boy I do want to change Pokemon. This is so funny. We are getting destroyed by this guy. It's also really funny because I always fight this guy later in my playthroughs. Um, so he's never a problem. And I'm literally just going to try to hit him with a mud slap or two. Just so that maybe Margo has a better go of it. Okay, there we go. Let's get some mud slaps going. We're missing bone clubs, baby. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use a super potion on Margo. Perfect. Awesome. Let's keep this up. I'm literally gonna have to go back to the Pokemon Center after this, which is hilarious. Um, okay, finally hit through one. You can lower their accuracy so much, but you can't guarantee that they'll never hit you. Because there's always still that chance that they do. Oh, you've got to be kidding me with that. You've got to be kidding me with that. Okay, good. I'm like, if it hits twice in a row, I, I riot. There we go. Quick claw. Let's do it. <laughs> that was like a mini boss right there. <laughs> My lord. And it just never helps that we can't let Lucius die. Um, there are a couple more trainers in here. We're not going to have that bad of a matchup. For all of them, I feel kind of bad because I wasted a repel. But we did beat that guy, so we should be able to buy a few more. This is a great start. I love it. Um, I actually do love... There we go. Only 28 Poké Dollars, or Poké Yen. Um, I actually love when things can get kind of tough in these runs, because I really enjoy kind of struggling through a game that I've played a million times. And yeah, again, I'm going kind of like, I'm going out of my way to have a very kind of like particular team. And I really wanted to show this off to you. As a matter of fact, let me go in here first since we have more repels to work with. So, there is a secret area in Union Cave where you can surf. Oh, this leads to nothing. You see that ladder back there? Oh, wait, no, I can't do that yet. We need strength to get back there. 
Um, it's not a huge deal, but if you take that secret ladder in Slowpoke Well, there is an item called the King's Rock. Um, and it's a really good item because it can cause flinching, even when you use a move that doesn't usually cause flinching. So we'll have to come back and grab that, and I can show that to you. But for now, we'll just stick to our Union Cave, because once we get into the depths of Union Cave, specifically on a Friday... Um, this guy that we're about to fight, I know, has a normal type Pokemon, so I'm gonna have Rupert Grunt in the front, and then use another Repel. Oh, in later games, when your Repel runs out, it asks, um, your Repel run ran out, would you like to use another? And then you can just quick use another one, and you don't have to go back in your menu every time. So we're gonna fight this guy. Yeah, I think there are a few more trainers down here. Um, and we're gonna try to power through him. Yes, he's got a Kangaskhan. It is a normal type, which is a good matchup for Rupert Grunt, but we're a couple levels lower. Oh, Mega Punch is going to hit hard on a Kangaskhan. This is crazy. And again, Rock Smash, super effective, but not super powerful. Um, yeah, that hurts, baby. A defense drop. We love to see it. I am going to sacrifice Wendy again. <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. Let's see. And it's just, my girl Margo is just tanky, you know? And especially having... Ugh, that sucks. Having the Kangaskhan's... Whatchamacallit? Um, really would have loved to see that hit, kill it. Having its defense drop to help there. All right, here we're going to get a one of those... Hopefully that was like a high roll. It was a low roll, actually. You love to see it. Um, let's see. Hopefully the quick claw can pop, and it did. Yes. Oh, that was sick. Oh yeah. You love those clutch quick claws. Um. There are some battles where it's just like, we're just going to try this battle over and over again until I outspeed. <laughs> that was awesome. Love to see that. Okay, cool. So now we are here in the depths of Union Cave. Um, Dun Dunsparce on shenanigans. That's right. That's right, Spicy. Thanks for joining us. Um, Dunsparce is wonderful. All right, so we'll heal up you. Uh, we'll heal up Dunsparce too while we're down here. Um, so, the Pokemon that we came down here to get is actually, I think, I, yeah, I just saved. The Pokemon we came down here to get is not a Pokemon that you run into normally. It is a static Pokemon that appears only on Friday nights, and that Pokemon is Lapras. Um, I really wanted to show this Lapras to you, um, because it's so special, there's only one in the game. And it shows, er, I don't think, I don't know if there's only one in the game, but I do know it will only show up here, um, on Friday, on Fridays. So, oh wow. And Rupert Grunt's a lower level, so our repel doesn't work on that goal bat. Let's swap into Sinaiquil then, for that. Perfect. Um... Let's see. Thanks for being here, Spicy. How's your day? Um, we have that guy. What I want to do, we can always come back for these trainers. I think there might... Yes. I forgot that this lady was here. All right, so we're going to fight one more trainer, and then we're going to get our Lapras, because right in the bottom of Union... Uh, long, glad it's finally the weekend. Dude, I feel you. I, um, I've been on spring break, um, for this week, but... Before spring break, I was really feeling it, um, and I was very glad to be done. I'm going to be very sad on Sunday when I have to go back, having the whole week off, but what can you do? I'm going to see if I can get a Vine Whip with my wife. Maybe she can tank this. She's 18 levels lower, but it's not very effective. That rain boost, that rain boost water gun will still get me. Yeah, this is gonna be a tough fight too. I'm, re <laughs> I'm really glad we brought. You're kidding me! 
Uh, that was a brutal divorce. <laughs> You're right. You're right. Uh, hopefully we can still be friends. But... I don't know what we're gonna do here. We're out of awakenings from our battle with Morty. We do have a full heal, but I don't really want to waste it here. Um, let's just see. Okay, if you're just gonna use double slap, we're gonna try... Ugh, oh, got the quick claw. Okay, the rain stopped, which is good. They'll waste a turn setting up rain. I really hate... There we go. I think we're gonna be able to do this. Um, not really doing a ton of damage to Margo. And I still have some super potions going. Oh! I did not see that coming. I did not see that coming. Okay. Nice. We'll go into Lucius here. Get some Shadow Balls off. Again. It's so funny because I hyped up teaching this move to Lucius, but... It's doing, like, nothing. Especially because we've just been fighting Pokémon that are at a higher level. This is actually, like, pretty early to be coming down here into this cave. <laughs> so... I'm not going to risk anything with Lucius here. Let's see. We're going to swap out. Um, I'll go into Rupert Grunt for now. Okay. Wow. Guys, we are getting destroyed right now. And that is rain boosted. I did not anticipate having such a hard time with these battles leading up to Lapras because I just want to show you Lapras. Um, okay, good. The rain stopped, so they're probably going to restart the rain. Yes. Alright, one more horn attack will do it. Um, don't crit. Okay. We're good, gang. We're good. Oh yeah, I forgot Sonicbo was out. Got Lucius some action. I am actually going to heal that sleep off on Lucius with my one full heal, which is kind of sad. But I'll be able to buy more full heals later. Actually, pretty soon I should be able to buy more full heals. And I am going to revive Margo because we're going to need her against Lapras to paralyze it. Alright. So, we'll start with Margo here. And I will save. Guys, I'm annoyed. I'm annoyed. So you come down here, and on most days there's nothing down here, but now there's this cute little Lapras down here! I'm gonna use my repel again, uh, just so I don't forget. And I'll save again, just to be safe. What's up? And I love how the surfing icon is a Lapras, even if you're not surfing on a Lapras. So here we go. Hello! Uh, that's a good little... Lapras is a very powerful Pokemon. It is a water ice type. And ice... You're kidding me. You hate to see it. You hate to see it. Um, ice type is... I'm actually pretty surprised we're that much slower off the bat. Because um, I know Dunsparce isn't fast, but I don't think Lapras really is either. Um... The ice type on Lapras is going to be very useful later. Um, once we get into some of the later fights in the game. And that's another reason why I wanted to show Lapras off to you in this playthrough, because it's such a useful Pokemon um, in a playthrough, and on Fridays are the only time you can catch one in this game. And it's in just such a cool little spot. It's just a really nice, like... Pokemon Gen 2 secret for people that wouldn't know about it, you know? Ooh, Body Slam, that's a great move. Paralyzes me immediately. <laughs> and that's why Body Slam is so good, because it can paralyze you. But luckily it does save us from getting put to sleep again. Because, like we've said before, you cannot be... You can't get two statuses at once. Um... But, yeah, Lapras just gets a really cool little showcase here, so I wanted to showcase it in my playthrough. 
Um, all right, now I'm gonna hit you with a rage because this will be less. Um, this will do less damage. Okay, great. Let's try our great balls now. We have 11 great balls. That should be enough to catch this Lapras, I don't think. And if not, we save beforehand. Ah, so close. Um, but yeah, I'll speed this up just a little bit. Come on! Um, sup, nerd? Hey, Locked S. Hey, Mom Turdock. We are in the lower levels of Union Cave because since it is Friday, we can catch Lapras here. And I'm go we're going to use Lapras on the playthrough because it's very useful in Johto for reasons that will be explained later for those that don't already know. Most of you, if you're watching this, you know why a Lapras is going to be very useful. But if you're not watching this, hey, that's right. Um, Friday, Friday, gotta get down on Friday. Everybody's looking forward to the weekend, weekend. Um, Friday, Friday, getting down on Friday. We'll catch a Lapras. Also on Friday. Come on! All right, I'm gonna speed through this now. Let's do it. Ah, uh, I don't wanna have to reset. Yay! <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> oh, let's get a Lapras nickname. Uh, people in the chat. Uh, we have a boy Lapras here. What's what's a good name for a boy Lapras? This gentle Pokemon loves to give people rides and provides a very comfortable way to get around. Also, Lapras is one of my favorite Pokemon. Look at it. It's so cute and majestic. Paris Hilton. Pete Sampras. <laughs> oh, Paris Hilton or Pete Sampras. I can't decide. Uh oh. Okay. Hmm. Uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna name him Pete Paris because I could not decide between Pete Pampris and Paris Hilton. Pampris. Yep. 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 Where's the M? <laughs> I can't find any letters. Pampris. Yes. Love it. Perfect. Amazing. So there is Lapras. We gotta go back to the PC and grab him. But I'm actually gonna avoid these trainers down here because as you saw earlier, we were getting clapped. We were getting smacked by these people. Um, Silver Cave Gaming confirmed functionally illiterate. <laughs> can't find letters. It's true. I can't find letters. Um, and you're watching someone who can't find letters. Ooh. That lady can, like, kind of see you. Very odd. So, yeah, we'll come back for those items and those trainers later. Because we are going to probably want to level up the squad with those people. Um, and there is another thing that we will come back to Union Cave for that I really want to show you. But I think we also need strength for it. Um, even if we don't, we're going to come back later. We'll show that off later. Oh, yeah. Speaking of showing things off, I love this shirt. I love showing off some of my favorite uh, kind of fandom shirts. This is my Ranking of Kings shirt. This is a wonderful anime if you've never watched it. It's so good. It's Boji and Kage there on the front. Oh, and I got a new guitar. A new guitar for my <laughs> Silver Cave. Um, check this. Well, look at that bad boy. Straps in the way. Woohoo! Yeah, um, it's been amazing. Well, you can see the game in the in the reflection. Um, I've been playing that on spring break a lot, and it's been lovely. Kind of writing some new some new riffs, some new tunes. Um, so I wanted to show that off. Let's see. I gotta throw this back on. Nice guitar. Thank you. I appreciate that. I never really thought I would have a purple guitar, but. I loved the way that that one played, and I was just like, screw it, I like purple. So it's great. Okay, so now we have Lapras, which is wonderful. I was very much looking forward to getting Lapras on the squad. And we can go ahead... Can we buy... We can probably buy a super potion or two. Love to see it. Um, 
Mm, excuse me. Buh, buh, buh. Sweet color, thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate that, JJ. Um, all right, Wendy, you proved so helpful in those battles. And that might sound sarcastic, but just having, sometimes just having that one Pokemon that you just let die really helps kind of preserve the squad. Um, but we are gonna bring out Pampras, baby. Pampras the Lapras. Love to see, love to see him. Uh, let's see. So, like I said, Lapras is a water and ice type, and it is literally like the face of Surf. <laughs> the face of Surf, it's very uh, prestigious. And, let's see. And I don't think Lapras comes, yeah, it doesn't know any water moves right now, so this is great. And not only is Surf a water move for our Lapras, it is probably the best water move in the game. Um, which is interesting, because a lot of the HMs aren't that useful of moves, but Surf is. It is so strong. I think it's like 95 base power, if I'm not mistaken, in this game, which is really good. So now, uh. Mm. Great to be back here in Azalea Town. Love the music. And we are going to speed our way through Ilex Forest, because we've been here already. You've seen it. And we got to make our little hike. Um, later in our run, we're going to be able to fly like we did in Gen 1, but we can't do that quite yet. We can take this little shortcut across the water. And now we'll just hop back up through the goldenrod. Ooh, yeah, I'm gonna grab this item. Um, there's actually a secret down here. Um, there's kind of a secret battle down there, but we're not quite ready for it yet, so we'll do that later. Because, um, you know, like you saw, we were getting destroyed in Union Cave. We gotta do a little bit more training, probably like right outside of um, Ecruteague City there. Oh, we can actually, what we'll do is we'll pop into National Park and we'll battle some of those trainers as we make our way to the next city. Love it. Love it. Um, I was just asking spicy folks, oh, this is actually a really good item we can grab crossing this water. Oh, a Psyduck, how cute. Um, another pretty solid water type Pokemon that we can we could use in the run if you want to. If you don't want to wait for a Friday to use Lapras, Psyduck is a fun Pokemon to use. But this is a Mystery Berry. Um, it is very useful because it restores power points, and the only other things that restore power points in the game are... Oh, wow, you want me to use my bike right now? What are we, children? Ugh. It's great to be back. Great to be back. I feel like we've been in National Park a lot, and I'm here for it. All right, we fought that lady. Yeah, I know there are a few trainers in here. Some of these uh, levels are going to be a bit below us, but that's okay. Hello. But, as I was saying... Um, the only items that restore power points besides the Mystery Berries are Ethers and Elixirs. And those things actually cannot be bought. Um, the only Ethers and Elixirs that you get in the game are ones that you find, meaning they're finite. And this was very kind of intentional by the developers, just because... Like, even if your Pokemon's really powerful, you will have to visit the Pokemon Center, like, at some point. Um, just to make sure you replenish those power points. Let's take Lapras for a test spin here, and we're just gonna completely obliterate this, uh, Cubone. I love the way Surf looks in this game, too. Really makes it look like the big wave that it is. Just annihilate that Cubone. It was already an orphan, and now it's dead. Let's see. Uh, sometimes your mom buys you dolls. It's like, whatever. Um, 
Oh, maybe I can show that to you. I never do it, um, but when your mom buys you a doll like that, oh, I love that fountain. Very cute little fountain there in the bottom. Um, anytime your mom buys you a doll like that, you can actually put it in your room. And if you go back to your room in New Barktown there, you can, oh, wow. Rupert Grunt looking diesel with that horn attack. Um, but even, and when you go back to New Barktown, you can just have that, those cute little dolls sitting like on your desk. And it's, it's not anything that like, you know, matters, but it's cute. Uh, love looking at the room dec decorations in Stadium 2. Oh, that's cool. Um, I never really played Pokemon Stadium 2. I never had an N64. Um, I knew some people that did... But we didn't play it very much. I, my cousins and I really started playing together at like GameCube era, which I, yeah, GameCube was after the 64. But yeah, never really played Pokemon Stadium 2. I mean, I played Pokemon Stadium and Stadium 2 like a little bit, like at friends' houses growing up, but you know. Um... They really step up the kind of, like, room decoration game in Generation 3. Um, that is definitely something that they do a lot more of in that game. And we will cross that bridge when we get to it. We're definitely playing Gen 3 on this channel. I do want to say, I do want to, like, branch out and play other games that are not Pokemon on this channel. Because Pokemon is, like my number one. I love it. Obviously, I know a lot about it, but I want to play some of the other game, other games that I love. And kind of when I started this channel, it was just really easy to get this up and running, because you can just have this on your computer pretty easily. Um, but uh, I'm not fighting you. Here we are, back in Ecruteague City. Good to see you. Good to see you again. So we're gonna pop in here. I don't know, can we afford a revive? Yes, we're gonna buy that revive back that we got. You'd love to see other games? Oh, I'd love to hear that because I would love to show you other games. Um, and again, Pokemon is like my favorite. My, I want to play like every main Pokemon game on this channel at some point. Um, and there's a lot to get through, which makes me very excited. But yeah, again, I wanna play some new stuff too. And when we came out here to get the mint berry, I think we were pretty successful at avoiding other trainers. So now we are just making our way to the next town, which is very exciting. And we can fight some of these trainers. Um, what consoles am I thinking of? Well, I want to eventually play, like I said, every Pokemon game. So kind of like 3DS into like the Switch. Um, I also have a PS4. I don't have a PS5. Um, but I have a lot of games on my PS4 um, that I want to stream. Um, specifically, I am a huge Kingdom Hearts fan. I know a lot of other people are too. Um, but I really want to get that game on the channel and a lot of those games on the channel. Um, but yeah, and some more classic stuff too. Like... Some stuff that I grew up on, like maybe if I can get some PS1 games going on my PS4. Um, like one of my favorite games of all time, specifically, are Tekken 2 and Tekken 3. Um, and I was actually just able to pick up Tekken 2 on the PlayStation Store, which made me really happy. Um, Tekken's a fighting game, if you're not aware of it. Um, but I know they released Tekken 8 this year for the PS5. I don't know if there's a PS4 version. It might be a little too late for that. Um, wait, did I say Tekken 5? No, I said PS5. <laughs> I said Tekken 8. Um, but I'm very excited to play that eventually. It's like that and like Final Fantasy 7 Rebirth I'm really waiting to play. Uh, let's, let's, let's let Lucius get some action. Because 
it's always very interesting with Lucius because you don't want to over level. You don't want to over level the Pokemon that you're trying to evolve via friendship. Because again, we gotta we gotta evolve them by level 36. But you still want to use them a little bit and keep them uh, in line with the rest of the squad. And we're just knocking these trainers off. Um, so yeah, as far as kind of like the immediate games I want to play, um, those are definitely ones. After this game, I am planning to play kind of a curveball game. And I'm really excited about it. Because um, it's not a Pokemon game. We will return to Pokemon in, in short order. But the next game I have planned, it's a game for the Game Boy Advance. And I want to keep it a secret. Because I think it's going to kind of come out of left field for people but I love it and I put so many hours into this game um, here we have the psychic type Mr. Mime so we're going to hit him with that physical attack from Margo mm. powerhouse that she is but yes I'm looking looking forward to keeping that a surprise um, I know <laughs> plot twist it's Pong <laughs> I mean hey Pong's a classic. Pong is one of the uh, kind of grandfathers of video games, you know? And, like, I honestly don't have a ton of experience with kind of like the AAA super modern titles. Like, as far as more modern games that I've played, I play a lot of Pokemon or like Nintendo. Um, Excuse me. So I haven't played many of those, like... Like, I just recently got Ghost of Tsushima, and I'm really excited to play that. Um, because I haven't played many of those, like, super modern titles, honestly. A lot of times, I will kind of go back to the comfortable games that I love like this um, when I want to play a game. And I'm not as much as, like, a new gamer as other people are. This is Corsola, by the way. It's a new Johto Pokemon. It's a rock and water type. But our Pampras can make pretty easy work of it. I think you can catch Corsola in the sea where we're about to go. But yeah, that's pretty much the plan. Oh yeah, there's a guy down here I want to fight. Uh, let's see. We'll go Pampras again. And you got... Some Dodrio, I'm pretty sure, or Doduo. Oh yeah, there is a YouTuber that I really like. He actually just retired. His name is Birdkeeper Toby, and he's named after this guy. So shout out Birdkeeper Toby. Um, but he has, I think he has three Doduo. Nothing crazy. But yeah, Lapras coming in here and having Surf and Body Slam, those are two like incredibly powerful moves. And I want to kind of do it like we did it in yellow. I don't want to, like, get too overly powerful because adding, like, a super strong water move, like, we would have destroyed that dude with the Marowax <laughs> if we had Lapras before. It's funny that we had to... We actually didn't have to fight him. It was kind of stupid that I fought him. I didn't realize his levels were a little bit higher. But, oh well. Fully paralyzed. Dang it. Thought we were going to take no damage. There we go. Perfect. Alright. Oh, it's actually kind of good that our Cyndaquil is a little bit higher in level than everybody else. Because when we get out toward the water, there are just going to be, obviously, a lot of water-type Pokemon. And uh, Quillab is not going to be very good against them. So we're probably not going to use them much. So that works out. And I think I talked about it, that in yellow a little bit. Like, those are things that usually always kind of even out. Um, and that's the good thing about the system that they have with gym leaders, each of them having their own type. Yeah, Hopip's a pretty weak Pokemon at this point in the game. Skip Plume is a grass and flying type. I actually don't think that it has a flying type move, but I'm gonna... Go out to Sinai Quill. Just in case. Um, Hopip actually evolves into Skip Loom. And Skip Loom evolves into Jump Pluff. Isn't that cute? Hop, skip, and a jump. 
Um, so those are some of the very adorable naming conventions that they have in Pokemon. Very punny, very, very, very cute. Um, but I love Jumpluff. I feel like that is an underappreciated Pokemon from this gen. Um, you can catch Hoppip really early in the game. And had we started our game during the day where you can catch Hoppip, I might have considered using one, honestly. We got a nice berry here. We actually have, I think we have five berries. Um, there is a, a cute little thing you can do off, let me get off to the left here. Oh, Magnemite, nice. Good electric type you can use for a playthrough. Um, the only thing about Crystal, and I hate it. I, man, I hate it. Is one of my favorite Pokemon ever is Mareep. And it is an electric sheep, and it is wonderful. And for whatever reason, you can't catch it in Crystal. You can only catch it in Pokemon Silver version. So maybe there's going to be another thing where I do Pokemon Silver so I can show you uh, Mareep, because I love Mareep. Um, so this guy, he runs a mill tank ranch. And he says, my milk tank ain't giving me milk no more. This here farm's got famous milk. Most everyone wants a drink. It'll give me lots of milk if and you feed it lots of berries, I reckon. So there's that. And so here's all the mill tank. You remember Moo. Whitney's mill tank. So we talked to that guy, and then you yeah, this cute little Oh. It's cry is weak. Give a berry to Mill Tank. So we're gonna give all of these berries to Mil Mill Tank. And I think it takes seven berries to heal the Mill Tank. I think we only have five. So on another day where we can fly, we can pick up two more really quick and we can get our item that we get for this. Um, if you give the mill tank seven berries, it will, see it became quite healthy, not quite all the way healthy. Um, it will be fully healed. Oh, I have no berries left, okay. Um, if you give it seven berries, it'll be fully healed and then the farmer will give you a moo moo milk. And it's just a, uh, thing that heals a hundred hit points. It's a pretty good healing item. Um, the only thing is, for the longest time in my memory, you were able to buy more Moo Moo Milks after you do this, but he actually only gives you one, which when you think about it, really isn't worth it, but I always do it when I do playthroughs. I don't know why. I always heal the Mill Tank. You don't have to. It's just a little side quest. Um, but I always heal the Mill Tank. So here we got Pikachu. We'll let Rupert Grunt just destroy her. Yeah, because again, Rupert Grunt's a pretty powerful Pokemon in this gen. And again, doesn't get very many same type attack bonus moves at all, but it can use that normal type horn attack pretty well. I think he's also got a Pikachu or a Teddy Ursa. No, he's got another Pikachu. Um, Teddy Ursa is not a Pokemon we've seen yet. I'm pretty sure you can't catch it until later in the game. And that is a really cool Pokemon, but I usually never run it in my playthroughs because you just get it so late in the game. It's funny, I do say that. The last member of our squad, we're actually going to get very late in the game. And <laughs> the reason we're doing it is because it's another one of my favorite Pokemon ever. So I wanted to show it off, of course. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be rolling with my wife in that little HM slot. Um, until then. So that's happy. Uh, let's see. This guy, Rupert's at 21. So we'll go... We'll actually go Lucius. Get him to level 22. I don't remember what he starts with. Um, he might have a Machop, so this could be stupid of me, but... He's got a Poliwhirl. We already beat a level 28 Poliwhirl. This is nothing. See, you know Bubble. Get out of here. Yeah, I guess we were talking about um, some other games that I was planning on streaming. And I want to make sure that whatever I stream, I want to have a good knowledge of it. Uh, I definitely want it to be something that I've played before. Um, because I really, really enjoy sharing something that I love and know about with you folks. And I would feel weird 
playing a game I've never played before. And I mean, I guess that's fun. So maybe if I, if we, if we keep doing this and I run out of games to play, I'll, I'll play some new games. Um, like games I've never played before. Oh, uh, you almost missed it. What's up? Good to see ya. Good to see ya. Um, no, you good, you good. You still got another couple minutes here. Um, but just to fill you in, we actually went and caught Lapras in Union Cave, and that's one of our new team members, which I'm really excited about. Let's see. This is a Krabby. Krabby does not have good special defense, so I'm literally going to use Pampras. And we're just going to hit him with a Surf. It's not very effective, but it's still probably going to do a lot of damage. Uh, yes. <laughs> I did mention I was going to do that. I very unsubtly mention uh, that I'm going to do things. Cool, because it's just like, for someone who knows this game, when I say, yeah, on Friday we're going to go to Union Cave for something, they obviously know what I'm going to go do. Um, ba ba da ba ba da ba ba da Org! Sorry, buddy. What do you give me? Do you give me anything? You came at just the right time. Oh, let's battle. Oh, hi! Okay, so that's what this lady does. I thought that she gave, maybe gave you something at a certain time, but she battles you. Oh, we have Lucius out in front. Um, let's let Rupert Grunt have at her. Use that super effective rock smash. Love to see it. Mmm. Goodbye. But yeah, when it comes to games that we stream here, I guess I'm not, like, morally opposed to playing games that I've never played before, but I do want to play games that I know and love and um, can share with you. Yeah, this is the Violet City music. This is Olivine City. Um, this is where my favorite gym leader is. What does this say? Olivine City. The port closest to foreign lands. I believe this city is based on real-life Kobe. Or Kobe. Um, in Japan. Oh! <gasps> it's a rival. We don't fight him here. He just talks to you. You again! There's no need to panic. I don't bother with wimps like you. Oh, hurt my feelings. Um, Kobe! Yeah. Um, <laughs> Kobe! Speaking of weaklings, the city's gym leader isn't here, supposedly taking care of a sick Pokemon at the lighthouse. Oh, speaking of Mareep, um, excuse me, humph, boo-hoo, just let sick Pokemon go. A Pokemon that can't battle is worthless. Why don't you go train at the lighthouse? <laughs> Who knows, it might make you a bit less weak. This guy, this guy, he just can't learn his manners, can he? He just can't learn his manners. What a mean fella. Pokemon Gym Leader Jasmine, the Steel-Clad Defense Girl. Jasmine is a Steel-type Gym Leader, which is super sick. Oh, you hatched a Squirtle. That's awesome. That's so awesome, actually. I haven't breeded a Pokemon in a long time. Um, so there's this guy here. He's It's on the sea, and if it's on the sea, there are bound to be fish. I fished here for 30 years. Would you like to face the sea and fish? Absolutely. Um, so this guy gives you a good rod, um, which is great because you get the TM for surf, but you're honestly not guaranteed to have caught a water Pokemon because really the only water Pokemon that you can get um, are Poliwag, which are only at night, early in the game. You've got your starter Totodile, and you could maybe catch a Magikarp with your old rod. But there aren't a ton of water Pokemon that you encounter before you get Surf. And having a fishing rod is a great way to catch a Pokemon that learns Surf um, before you can actually surf on the water, if that makes sense. Like, let's say it was like, ah, crap, I forgot to catch a Poliwag and now I don't have any water Pokemon. I could use the good rod, catch a water Pokemon, and then I'd be able to surf, you know? Um, so it's really good that you get a fishing rod here. And then this random guy, ha, huh, your Pokemon sure look like lightweights. I mean, thanks, random guy. Uh, they don't have the power to move boulders aside. Here, use this and teach them strength. This is a very important HM. And 
I only know that it's here because I've played this game a million times, but this is, uh, I'm so proud of my buff bod. You go, man. You work hard for that buff bod. But, uh, yes, you had such a hard time finding that guy the first time. Absolutely. Because it's not, like, intuitive. Like, the game doesn't really tell you. It's just like, okay, you're stuck. Search every house. And it's like, okay. Okay. Um, who is going to learn strength? I'm going to teach it to Rupert Grunt. Because Rupert Grunt doesn't learn a lot of moves, honestly. And strength is more powerful than horn attack. Because if we have, like, strength, a bug move, rock smash, and something else, that's going to be a great move set for Rupert Grunt. So we'll get rid of Fury Attack. I never use it anyway. We would get that same type attack bonus. <laughs> Do the Battle Tower? Dude, no way. I will get smoked. Especially right now. What he's saying is, there is, right here, there is this place... This is exclusive to Pokemon Crystal, so I'll show it to you. It says that you're going to the Battle Tower. This is a secret, but if you win a whole lot, you can win special gifts. Which is true. But... Oh! I'm not very familiar with this track. I never come up here, because I never do the Battle Tower. So here's the Battle Tower. It is massive. Like, for this game, it is enormous. Oh, that's Kanto music? What music is it? I can't place it. Battle Tower. Take the ultimate trainer challenge. So the Battle Tower is like a competitive battling arena that you can do. Um, they really up the ante on, like, competitive battling arenas in later games. Um, and we're not going to do it right now because the battles are really hard. <laughs> um... Maybe towards the end of the game I can try it. Um, but... They literally cheat. No, I believe you. Uh, oh, yes, this is great because we can now buy super repels. I can sell our old, dumb, regular repels. And buy the new and improved super repels. You can also buy hyper potions. I'll buy one. Uh, super repels. Hello. I'll buy just about as many as I can buy, honestly. I'll buy 12. Okay. And they... Super repels. Yeah, super repels, uh... Because a repel... I'm so glad that you said super repels are better than max repels. <laughs> because max repels, I think, repel Pokemon for 750 steps. Super Repels do it for 500 steps, and regular, regular Repels, I think, do it for um, 200 steps, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and, see, this is the lighthouse. This is the lighthouse that uh, our rival was talking about. Um, and there is a sick Pokemon at the top that the gym leader is taking care of, and we need to investigate that. So we're going to start doing that tonight. Uh, we might not get to the top tonight. We'll see. But there are a lot of trainer battles to get through. Um, oh yes, but as I was saying, Super Repels actually... 100, 200, 250. Oh, okay. Um, they have a better step-to-cost ratio of using them, which is why um, he's saying Super Repels is better... They're saying Super Repels are better than Max Repels. Um... Oh yeah, this guy doesn't fight you. People train at this lighthouse. It's not easy to climb because of all the trainers. <laughs> yeah, there are a lot of trainers in here. But we're going to smash them. We're just going to destroy them with our awesome might. If you will. Oh, I love fighting these. Um, I am a he. <laughs> Great. Perfect. I never want to assume, you know? Never want to assume. But uh, I love fighting these gentlemen because they give you a lot of money. Here's Noctowl. I don't know if we've seen one yet. Hoot Hoot, hoot, hoot evolves into Noctowl. Um, Noctowl is one of my favorite Pokemon. And I contemplated using a Hoot Hoot on our playthrough, but it's just a very kind of common Pokemon that you can run into and use on these playthroughs. So 
I figured if you're watching this and you've never played Crystal before, maybe you can use a Noctowl on your playthrough, but I wanted to use something a little more unique. Let's see. And again, it's still fun to use. It's it's like the regional bird of this region. It's much like using uh, Pidgey or Pidgeotto or Spearow in Gen 1. Um, what is that emoji? Oh, an owl! Huh. Wonderful. <laughs> I love that. Um, owls are sick animals, by the way. Everyone, either here or in the comments, say your favorite animal. Just as a last little topic of discussion for tonight. My favorite animal is... Oh, I have a lot that I love. I would say a rhinoceros is always one of my favorite animals. Um, that's kind of the one that I think of first. Uh, a rhinoceros or a giraffe. Um, a falcon, any bird of prey. Falcon's a good one. Any bird of prey, a falcon, an eagle, a hawk. They're all sick. They're all sick. Um, yes, yeah, so that's one of my faves. A gecko, that's a good one. Um, little lizard, love to see it. Um, yes, love giraffes, love rhinos. I also love deer. I live in Ohio, and deer are really common around here, but I love them. I think they're uh, wonderful, majestic creatures. And a lot of my favorite Pokemon that they've created are based off of deer. I think they're lovely. Um, and it's always just a little treat seeing them, unless they're like running in front of your car at night. Then they're not fun to see. But deer, deer are wonderful. Um, and yeah, those are some of my favorite favorite animals. I would say whales. I also love whales. Whales are wonderful. Uh, we'll use pampers here because it's great having. Oh, you cried the first time you hit a possum in your cart. I believe that. That is so sad. I'm so sorry. Today, oh my gosh, this is such a sad story, but I'm gonna tell it. Oh my gosh, it's so sad. Today, um, I was driving and we were running an errand and I saw a duck. It was alive, but it was standing next to a duck that had been hit by a car. And it was like s sitting there with his friend. I'm like, this is the saddest thing I've ever seen. I literally cried. It was so horrible. <laughs> I'm sorry to- I know, that's so sad! I'm sorry to share it. <laughs> but I had- I had to get it out there. Ugh. I could not believe that. I was with my sister, and we bo we both just, like, wept for this duck. <laughs> it was so sad. Oh my goodness. Ugh. Well, <laughs> let's put Lapras in the front. Sorry, that's a bit of a downer story. Um... Large birds do more than their fallen friends. Oh, don't tell me that. <laughs> oh, it's so sad. It's like the Iron Claw all over again. I was talking about watching the Iron Claw, and that was such a sad movie. Oh my gosh, a brutal movie. Beautiful. I cried beautiful tears out of my face watching that movie. But I highly recommend it. Oh, crows have funerals. That's insane. That is crazy. Um, Pidgey... Mm, let's bring Lucius in here. Because these are pretty weak Pidgey. We can probably knock him out pretty easily with Lucius. Um, yeah, that's crazy that crows have funerals. I actually didn't know that. A murder of crows. My boy Lucius, that's right! Um, I've been giving Lucius haircuts off stream on the days where I'm not streaming in full. I just take a second to hop down to Goldenrod, give him a haircut. Um, we'll probably, I'll probably honestly do that off stream before I start. I'm probably going to stream tomorrow. Um, kind of like morning, midday. Um, let's see. Let's just keep going on with Lucius and these Pidgeys. Oh yeah, this one's at level 19, so Tackle's not doing quite half. Um, but yeah, sorry to tell the duck story. It was so devastating. I could not believe it. Um... But yeah, I hope everyone has a nice weekend. We have a nice one planned. We have um, my wife's brother is coming to stay with us, which is which is nice. Um, oh, I'm sorry that you miss him too. Yeah, I mean you know I I just kind of always just stream when I can. I mean the good news is if you want to catch up, you can always watch them on YouTube. I always post them there, and I actually really love because I have some streamers that I miss sometimes too. Um, 
that I I love that Twitch keeps them on Twitch, like on their Twitch page. For I don't know if they stay there. I don't know if they stay there until they stream again. Um, but if you miss a stream, you can watch a stream again, which is great. Uh, but yeah, I also post these all to YouTube as well, so that's lovely. Um, okay, we have one more gentleman here, and I believe he has some Growlithe, so, um, uh, I'm gonna go with Pampris here, and this will probably be our last fight of the evening. Um, but thank you for coming at all today, it's good to have you here. Really great to have you here. Um, because, you know, I'm just starting out. I don't always have people in my stream, sometimes I'm just kind of talking to myself, and I don't mind. Because, you know, like I said, I record them and I uh, post them later. But um, that's a setting you have to turn off if you don't want them to stay on your page. Oh, very cool. Oh, you're the puppeteer on there. Okay, cool. Very cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Dude, thank you so much for watching these. I appreciate you a lot. I appreciate you very much. Um, but, uh, but yeah. And I mean, I, I, I like I like having the streams kind of stay on my page. If someone wants to watch them later, that's great. Um, but yeah, we'll knock these we'll knock these Growlithe out with Pampris, and then we'll probably call it a night for tonight. But folks, ooh, ooh, Confuse Ray, a great little move for Pampris. Um, Mist can come in handy, but it's kind of niche. I'll get rid of it for now. Having Sing and Confuse Ray is great. Um, Sleep is not as overpowered as it is in Generation 1, but it's still really good. Um, well, okay, folks. I think tomorrow we will continue working our way up the lighthouse. Thank you so much for joining us today. I really appreciate you all. Um... Like I said, I don't always have people in my streams. Oh my gosh, I am so glad that you chat on here. I love, it's so wonderful to be able to chat with people on here, especially about a game that I, I am passionate about this game too. This is like my favorite game. Um, this is like my favorite game ever, pretty much. So thank you for chatting with me. Um, you have a great day, I'll catch you tomorrow. And to the rest of you, and who's watching this later, thank you for watching. I will see you soon. Um, have a lovely week, weekend, whatever day you're watching this, and I'll see you next time. Peace!